So this is going to be a tough, tough tax year. You think about what the IRS employees have been through along with the rest of us with illness, working remotely, and all that. I mean, I say the rest of us. Only a third of us in the workforce have had the privilege of being able to work remotely during coronavirus. The rest have had to, in order to get a check, have had to do things in harm's way out and about with others. But the IRS has been through just a mess. They are extremely short-staffed. Even tax professionals who normally were able to reach an IRS person with a technical tax question can't reach anybody with the IRS right now. A regular taxpayer, forget about it. And then to add additional salt to that wound, the IRS, uh, and I appreciate that they did so, we're very upfront that they're going to screw up this tax season that they're not going to be able to process refunds in an orderly or timely basis. And that is bad news for you if historically what you've done is you have paid in extra money through withholding, having extra withheld through your paycheck all year long is a method of forcing savings into your life. And then it's like you get a bonus when you get your refund. This year, you're going to potentially wait an extended period of time for that refund. And this takes me back to something I've talked about forever and seems every year gives me another fat target reason to explain why you should not set yourself up with extra withholding at work as a method of savings. Because in the past many years I've talked about if somebody files a tax return as if they're you tax ID theft that your refund goes to the crook, and then you have to wait uh, as long as a year or so to get your own refund back. That was the reason I've been giving for years and years and years. But then we add on top now, we got like icing on that cake, why you should not do extra withholding. Now the IRS can't even get your refund to you, even when you legitimately file your own return in a reasonable period of time. So I want you to reduce your withholding at your place of work if you use extra withholding as a method of savings and instead set up direct deposit from your paycheck into a savings account at an online bank or a credit union. Why online bank or credit union? The interest they're going to pay you is better, not great, but better. And if you go to a traditional bank, they pay essentially zero interest now on savings. So an online bank or a credit union is where you should do that. And whatever amount you stop over withholding from your paycheck, let's say it's $20 a pay period or whatever it is, put that money into savings. Or better yet, just adopt our 2022 plan for 2022. We have it at Clark.com. The idea is we want you to end this year, if you have zero money saved, we want you to end this year saving $2,022. We have it set up on a schedule based on when likely expenses hit you in a month. So some weeks we want you to save more money, other weeks less money. But by the end of the year, you'll have $2,022 saved. So that's the idea for you to build new wealth. And you're going to need that money because inflation is bad ugly right now. Uh, the latest headline from earlier this week is that inflation last month was the highest it's been in the last 40 years after the prior month it was the highest it had been in the last 30 years. So um, I know every time I say this people get angry at me, but it's true. A certain amount of the inflation we have right now is truly temporary. But as you go month after month with this, it starts being baked into our brains that, uh-oh, everything's going up in cost it makes it easier for companies to push through price increases because they're like oh well the customer's getting used to it we're just going to charge more and then inflation becomes an embedded thing in the economy the reasons we have inflation are many it's happening all around the globe and it's because of any of a number of pandemic related things including the supply chain 
disruptions, the shortage of truck drivers, shortage of factory workers, shortage of logistics people because they work in many cases in close quarters. The COVID cases have been very, very high around the world among people who work in factory environments and distribution environments. And that has led to uh, enormous shortages. Plus, the Federal Reserve, along with uh, central banks around the world, overshot pushing too much money in the economy because generals always fight the last war. And one of the things that happened after the banking scandals that attacked the world economies back starting in 2007 is the central banks were too slow to react and push enough money into the economy and that's why we had the Great Recession that was so deep and so severe. So this time they went too far the other way. They pumped too much money into the economy. There's too much money chasing too few goods and because a lot of activities people would have eaten up their money in um, travel, restaurants, things like that, people instead are taking that money and they're buying stuff. So we've got more demand right now for stuff than normal at the same time that the people who make and distribute the stuff are, many of them are out of work because they're ill. It has all fed into pushing prices way up on so many categories. Now, one area that has been an area of shortage in the United States has been gasoline and natural gas. And we've seen it at the pump. Here is great news, new reports out just yesterday that the production of oil, which is used obviously for gasoline and other distillates, and natural gas is going to set an all-time record high in the United States by later this year. And 23 is going to be a great production year for natural gas and fuels. So this is really, really important for our wallets because it's like an additional tax on us if we drive a gas engine vehicle and we go in to fill it up and what was costing us 30 is now costing us 50 or whatever the equivalent is for your tank and your wallet. All that money that's being grabbed by the tank is money you don't have to spend in your life anymore. And the massive uh, production of energy in the United States, we're now the world's largest energy producer most years, is going to help with that. But the Federal Reserve, as quick as it can now, realizes, oops, oops. We put too much money out there. We, as they call it, in, uh, in the central banks, they prime the pump too much. Now they're going to pull back, and it's going to have a slowing effect on the economy, which is, in this case, a good thing, not a bad thing, in dealing with too much money flowing out there in the U.S. and, again, economies around the world.